Venice, Florida is one of the most inviting places to visit when exploring the Sunshine State. It has a quaint little downtown area that's easily walkable, and you'll find several beautiful gardens and abundance of shady trees. And we'd be fools not to touch on one of Venice's biggest draws, its pristine beaches. If you're planning a trip to Venice anytime soon, this is one video you won't want to miss. Vucation presents the best things to do in Venice, Florida. Detweiler's Farm Market Eat fresh for less, so says the motto of this great local gem, and they live up to that philosophy. Customers have been flocking to this market for years in search of the best and healthiest locally sourced and sustainable produce and prepared foods. Detweiler's places a big emphasis on eating organically grown fruits and veggies. They also source their meats from farmers who believe in raising livestock naturally and ethically without chemicals like antibiotics and growth hormones. While we wouldn't recommend making a day out of visiting this spot, as it's essentially just just a grocery store, we can't think of a better place in town to stock up on all the essentials. Sharkies on the Pier If you're looking to enjoy a relaxing meal with the family along Florida's waterfront, Sharkies gives all the other Floridian waterfront grub hubs a run for their money. It's located along the beach and provides stunning views of the Gulf of Mexico. The pier itself is quite impressive, as it's significantly longer than you'd expect. It's always rare when you find a locale where you can eat, drink, chat with friends, watch fishermen do their thing, and take a mid-meal swim all during the same meal. We recommend trying the grouper and coupling that with a pint of local ale. As you enjoy your dining sesh, listen to the relaxing sounds of trop rock music while watching the waves crash. Casperson Beach Venice may be blessed with an abundance of fabulous beaches, but Casperson is the best for hunting prehistoric shark teeth. It's located at the southern end of Venice. It's unique for its varied and exceptionally beautiful shorelines. Some of the areas are quite lovely, with sprawling white sand stretching back to small shrubs and trees, while other spots are more rocky and difficult to traverse. While not every stretch is ideal for lounging on a beach towel under a shady umbrella, all of it is worth checking out. Although Casperson can get quite busy, especially during vacation, vacation season, the one thing you won't see is high-rise hotels and condos or massive mansions. For the most part, this beach is in its original, undeveloped form. Ideal Classic Cars Museum and Showroom Car lovers of all ages will be thrilled to know they can visit this museum free of charge. As you explore the facility, you'll be treated to a large collection of vintage cars, motorbikes, and trucks. Ideal Classic Cars is more than a museum, as they also sell and source rare classic vehicles. Collectors from all over the world come here to find hard-to-find motor vehicles to add to their collections. If you happen to have a classic car of your own and you're interested in selling, they'd be more than happy to make an offer to take it off your hands. Venice Area Audubon Rookery Nature lovers, photographers, and bird watchers will love this spot. It's well known for being a birding hotspot, and as far as Venice goes, there's no better place to see our feathered friends thriving in their natural environment. From the shaded pavilion benches, you can easily spend hours watching and snapping photographs of dozens of bird species. You can also take a walk around Rookery Lake if you're hoping to get a better view. Nesting season is December to May, and during this time, the rookery attracts a wide array of egrets and herons, which you can observe going about their courting, nesting, incubating, and chick-raising business. The local Venice area Audubon Society regularly holds lectures, talks, and events at the entrance of the rookery free of charge. Venice Fishing Pier There aren't many better ways to experience the beaches of Venice than by visiting the 700-foot Venice Fishing Pier. This incredibly impressive structure is actually the third pier to be built at its same location since 1966. Unlike some of the other piers scattered around the coast of Florida, the Venice Fishing Pier is totally free. The pier is a great place to gaze out into the ocean, watch a sunset, or try your hand at catching a couple of fish. Locals note that catches here come quite frequently. Species you might come across include redfish, snapper, and grouper. To get the latest fishing news or nab some gear, check out Papa's Bait Shop. And you don't need a fishing license to cast your line here. Broward North and South Beaches while you're visiting Venice Pier, you'll likely notice two fabulous-looking beaches to the left and right. These beaches are aptly named Broward, North, and South, and are two of the best and most popular ones in Venice. They stretch for miles and in both directions have long been favorites of locals and out-of-towners alike. White sand and emerald blue water are just two of the reasons why these beaches made it onto our list of the best things in Venice. Sharkies on the pier is within walking distance, and there's plenty of free parking. 
Either beach is worth spending the day at, but if you want a livelier, more festive atmosphere, head to Broward North. For solitude and a quieter beach experience, Broward South is sure to please, although you'll have to make a longer trek to get there. If you walk far enough south, you'll end up eventually at Casperson Beach. Venice Beach not to be confused with the famed Southern Californian Beach, Venice Beach is located a half mile from the city's historic downtown area along West Venice Street. There's ample free parking, which means you won't have to lug your gear far to set up for the day. While the beach is fairly popular, you should have no trouble finding a space to lay out your towels and open your umbrellas. The water is usually calm and warm, and there are lifeguards on duty to keep a watchful eye on you and your family. We recommend packing a picnic to enjoy at one of the shelters, or you could always just chow down while sitting in your beach chair. If that sounds like a little too much work, you can walk over to the concession area and have them whip something tasty up for you. Venice Beach is particularly popular with athletic folks, as there are several beach volleyball sand courts available on a first-come, first-served basis. You'll also see lots of swimmers and runners getting their workouts in for the day. Venice Main Street this nonprofit was established to help preserve and enhance Venice's historic downtown district. Downtown comprises an area that features a couple of lovely tree-lined streets where massive palms gently wave and hundreds of blooming flowers and majestic oak trees warmly invite visitors to come explore everything there is to see and do. Along Miami Avenue and West Venice Avenue, you'll find many shops and boutiques as well as a nice variety of cafes and restaurants. At the far end, there's a splash pad where kids can cool down on a hot Florida summer day. Snookhaven Park this park is nestled away along the banks of the gorgeous Mayaka River. Here, visitors are given an insightful glimpse of Old Florida. It's a great place to enjoy a day of riverside adventure. Snookhaven Park features amenities including canoe and kayak launching areas, a boat ramp, a picnic area, and restrooms. You'll also find a barbecue restaurant that hosts live musical acts. The park is particularly popular with those looking to spend a relaxing day fishing along the river. You can also rent canoes, kayaks, or paddle boats by the hour. If that doesn't sound like your jam, you can also opt to explore the river via a scenic boat tour. Clyde Butcher Venice Gallery and Studio Renowned photographer Clyde Butcher has a great gallery in Venice where visitors come to admire and purchase his inspirational black and white photos. Butcher's style has been described as merging at the intersection of fine art and photography. Each of his pieces have been meticulously composed to teleport viewers into the heart of his spellbinding photographs. A lot of his best works were actually shot over at Big Cypress National Preserve. If you're hoping to bring back one of his works with you, Butcher's Photography is available for purchase. You can also buy photographic books, postcards, and calendars featuring his work as well. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Venice, Florida? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.